Welcome back to the Audulous module library tutorial. This is 1.7, working with subdivisions, okay? This patch shows you how a clock divider can be used to create more complex composition. The divided by 16, or in this case, uh, one measure output, is driving the sequencer, which means each step lasts one measure. So we can see the step sequencer moving through one uh, step every measure. Uh, the East Coast mini synth module is being driven by a 16th note beat. So we have the clock going through here, the divided by one, so 16th note there, because we have the 16th note set here. Now, instead of uh, needing a unique step for each note that you'll hear in a second, uh, you can place 16 notes per step and extend the length and usefulness of a limited eight step sequencer. Uh, and also, as a little bonus, the AR envelope output is modulating the pitch of the last step just for a little bit of fun and variety. So we have the, uh, a, the, the VCA AR uh, mod, uh, envelope here, and that modulation output is going to this step and kind of moving it up. So we'll crank up the volume. step sequencer is being triggered every measure. Now we can go every two measures simply by this. We have to take the 32nd note division out here. So it's moving to each step half as slowly now. Again, that this is just a small example that's giving you a little takeaway that you can you can take an 8-step sequencer, it's not like you have 8 notes just to play with, right? This is 8 times 16 notes that you are using here, so it's it's as if you were using, I, I can't do math in my head, 8 times 16 is like 90 something, whatever. Uh, the, the number of sequence steps in there, but you are using the 16th note plus the measure to extend that length of that one sequencer. And when you start layering these with other sequencers, you can really, you, you stop thinking, oh, this is just some really limited eight step sequencer. It's really kind of programmed in for a long time. So you can, you, you can look at these sequencers as kind of like a, a limited palette, but that you're kind of running up against. You're trying to figure out interesting ways to expand their usefulness through other modules like the clock divider. That's why you're doing modular synthesis and you're not just writing everything in the piano roll because this is forcing you to explore different ways of composing music and using things like clock dividers, clock multipliers, and other modules that we'll see uh, in the next few patches that will uh, do different things that, that make you kind of um, run up against the machine that you're working with, you know, that you're interacting with a module. It's not just you're simply writing notes on a MIDI roll, that you're writing notes on a piano roll, uh, uh, on a staff. This is a way to kind of interface with you and the machine together to make music as one. That's what modular synthesis, to me at least, is all about. is about you interfacing with these cool modules and uh, turning knobs into, and, and, and moving faders until you find something uh, cool uh, that comes out of it. So uh, once you're done playing with this, and it might be a while because it's a lot of fun, uh, I'll see you on the next patch. Okay.